Alrighty, let's go get the cats. Mr. Maxi, she's so cute. Had them this morning at like six. Their faces look a little funny right now. Minnie is grooming. And these three are three peas in a pod. <laughs> now they look a little bit bigger. Why am I the most emotional person? That's you, Harlow. I'm sorry, we're gonna go in the car. Syringe feedings to bowl feeding. They're just getting with their first rounds of vaccines. They're eating really well. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, I make a lot of lifestyle vlogs. I work a traditional nine to five job and I live in a house with my boyfriend that we bought last year. So my channel is a lot of home improvements, home decor, work-life balance, exercising, running, stuff like that. So if you're new here, welcome. If you clicked on this video, you saw from the title that I am about to foster a litter of kittens. That's what I wanna make this vlog about. So I pick up the kittens tomorrow. I'm getting five and I am super excited, but I'm super anxious and I'm super nervous about this process. Um, it's just kind of like a newer learning curve for me it's something i've never done but if you're new to my channel i am a huge like animal lover i love animals so much if money didn't matter i would quit my job and work at the shelter i just i love animals so much so a little backstory a few months ago back in january i adopted my kitten his name is Winnie. He's sleeping on the floor over there in the sun. But I got him at my local shelter. So I live in Berks County, Pennsylvania, and the closest shelter to me is actually the Berks Animal Rescue League. And it's like a huge, huge shelter. It's 10 minutes down the street from me. It's very close. They have more than just cats and dogs. They have bunnies, reptiles, pigs, bunnies, goats, like you name it. Horses, I think, too. So I adopted my cat. And right after I got my cat, I was just like, I want another cat. And I was like, I can't keep adopting cats. Like I can only handle so many, you know? So it's currently kitten season. You know, part of me was like, I want to foster a litter, but then I was like, it's a lot of responsibility. I don't know if I want to do that. But then the shelter was just like, we need fosters. Like, please, if anyone's ever considered applying to be a foster, like, please, please, please. So I applied to be a foster. I felt like that was like a huge step. I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm applying to foster some cats. It got approved like the next day. And then I'm now on this list where they just like have anytime they have cats that need a home to be fostered in, they just send out these emails. So I was going to do it, but I just kept getting so anxious because I was like, okay, I have this event coming up. I'm not going to be home all day. And like the, the kittens can't be left alone all day. Like they are a responsibility. They need to be fed every so many hours. Like they can't really be alone like for too long of a period of time so this past weekend i was like you know i'm not gonna be home like all weekend i'll wait until monday and if an email comes out on monday i will claim a litter to foster so the email came out monday and i was like all right so this is my sign like i'm going to tell them that i can take some so i emailed back and i was like hi like i you know just signed up for this i have not fostered my first litter yet whichever of the litters on your list i think would be best fitted for like a first timer i will take them so they emailed me back monday night and they're like um perfect would you be willing to take this litter and i said yes we're all caught up to the point in time i'm at now it's currently wednesday it's 4 p.m on wednesday and i'm picking up the litter of kittens tomorrow at 12 30 and i am so excited but i'm also so anxious i'm so nervous i don't i do know what to expect but at the same time i also don't know what to expect it's a litter of five i think they're four weeks old they said so they're currently in the process of transitioning from syringe feedings to bowl feedings i've never fed a kitten with a syringe or a bottle before so this will be new i think they need to be fed like every three hours like I don't know but i'm really excited and i'm really nervous and i don't know what i'm getting myself into if there comes a point in time like when i can't take care of them anymore the shelter just takes them right back and they go with another staff member until they can place the kitten somewhere else so this is a long intro but i really wanted to lay everything out there because i haven't talked about this in any of my past vlogs i'll see you guys tomorrow and get excited okay here's my kitty cat for those that are new. This is Winnie. Yeah, Winnie, are we gonna get some little cousins tomorrow? Yeah. 
Yeah, we are. <laughs> He's so cute. He's eight months old. So today's the day. I feel so, I don't know why I'm so anxious over this. I think I'm just like nervous because I don't know what to expect. This is totally exciting. I'm just like <sighs> super anxious over it. Also, I ran seven miles last night and I did Pilates two days ago. And my body is just like so not used to it like like it used to be so my arms are just like my triceps are so sore like to the touch my core is really sore my glutes are really sore and then i thought it was a good idea to run seven miles last night so now my like my calf muscles are really tight and i'm trying to stretch them but like calf muscles are like the hardest muscle for me to get stretched out but yes yeah, so i'm going to pick up the cats it's 12.07. I'm picking them up at 12.30. So I need to like get ready to like walk out of the house right now so that I'm not late. But alrighty, let's go get the cats. <laughs> okay, we're going to go inside. Oh my gosh. Hello. Okay, so I just got home with them and I like... I'm just standing here like frozen because I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like they're just like meowing and screaming and they're so cute and I need to set up their little play pen. I think I can keep them in the crate, but I want to set up their pen so they can have their litter box. But I'm just like, there's so many, there's five of them and I'm just standing here like, what did I just get myself into? Like I know it'll be fine and I know this is just like the beginning and like the beginning is scary and they'll grow and they'll get older and everything will be fine. But right now I'm just like... They're so much smaller than I thought they were going to be. I don't know why I thought they were going to be like a little bit bigger. Um, but they're four weeks old and they're really freaking tiny. I'm supposed to keep them separated from Winnie for a week. But like I don't even know how that's possible because Winnie has access to every room in the house. And we don't have any doors on her rooms. So I'm just going to get them into like the little X-Pen, play pen that they have. And then close the top so they can't get out and Winnie can't get in and I think I don't know they're just gonna have to like sniff each other they're all situated in their little pen which is in there Winnie is just sitting guard he won't go in there unless I'm in there yeah he's just he's been hissing at them Winnie be nice please I don't even know if I'm supposed to let them get this close right now but I, I just I can't imagine if they were in here and he couldn't see them and he could just smell them. He would have been so pissed. So at least he like knows what's going on. He did get up close to it, which I don't think he's supposed to. But it was like, it's just difficult because we don't have our doors on the house. So I'm just doing the best I can. I'm afraid to go in here because I don't want him to follow me right now. I do have a second gate and I did put it, this room is a mess. But I did put this gate on top of this to keep him from jumping. And no, do not. It worked, except I was afraid he was gonna knock it over. Winnie, see now I'm in here now, he wants in. Stop it. No! I think we're doing well. They're sleeping, kind of. Okay, they're making noise, but they're sleeping. One went poop, and Winnie is just laying there. I think they said I was supposed to keep him separate in case one of the kittens had like a, um, a cold. So it's mostly to protect my own cat, but I'm just, it's so difficult to, so this is whatever. Don't come for me. I would never leave him in here with them alone, but I'm keeping an eye on him right now. All right, I think I'm going to take him out of here while they sleep. Update, the kittens are just sleeping. I feel like this vlog was like very anticlimactic so far because I was so anxious and so nervous to pick them up, but they've just been sleeping all day. And quite honestly, I think they're going to be pretty easy to take care of. They just sleep all day and then I feed them every six hours so but that's it and then they have their litter box inside their little pen and they know how to use it which is really good like so much easier for me and that's about it and I just have to keep my eye on them to make sure they're not sick I have to make sure their poop looks normal I have to make sure they're going to the bathroom just keeping an eye on them and making sure that everything looks right yeah they just sleep and that's about it and so I'm gonna keep vlogging but I haven't fed them yet. I think I, they got fed right before I picked them up. And so they'll probably need to be fed in like a few hours. But that's it. Good morning. I've been up since 
5.30. I fed the cats last night at like 7. And then I was supposed to feed them again before I went to bed. But I fell asleep. And... I woke up at like 5.30 in a panic. And so at that point they had gone like 10 hours without food, which is so long. But I like got up and I like ran in there and they were like dead asleep. Like they weren't meowing or anything. So I was like, okay. And I turned the light on and then I like woke them up and then I fed them this morning at like six. And they're doing well. They went back to sleep. I changed out their blankets. I reheated their heating disc that they keep in there because they're so young they have to have a heat source. And they ate obviously and then I changed out their litter box so they're good to go I don't have to feed them again until like lunchtime I'm trying to see if like I can stretch it out to like eight hours between feedings just because that would just be easier for everyone hi Winnie but Winnie is he's doing a lot better I'm just trying to make sure I give him like a lot of attention everything's good I'm just working right now it's Friday already which is like I don't I just I don't understand how time goes by so quickly it honestly kind of scares me but it's Friday and I have no plans this weekend except taking care of the kitties and Matt and I would probably do some like house projects of sorts but that's about it but cats are doing good I think they had an easy transition I don't think they're stressed with like moving into a new new place i don't think they might be stressed because of winnie because like if winnie gets in the room when i'm in there he like goes right up to the tent and he's like staring like through the screen and then he'll like hiss at them and growl i would never let them get face to face like outside of the tent that's not gonna happen for like probably a week or so i mean like i don't think he would hurt them but like i don't want him to scare them and stress them out so even though he probably already is stressing them out. Anyway, that's all. Just wanted to update you guys on that. Happy Friday. But all right, that's all. Goodbye. Stop. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Okay, so they look a little funny right now because they just ate. They like to shove their heads like fully in the bowl. Oh, their faces look a little funny right now because they just ate. Okay, they're a little bit calmer now. The one laying down, that's Huxley. That's a boy. He looks very tired. What are you doing? This one, this is Harper. This is the girl. She's, they're all very playful, but she's so cute. They're still a little wet. Um, my cat likes to groom them after they eat. So their heads get a little bit wet from that. She's so cute. 
that's Harper. This is Harlow. He's a boy. He's the third white one. He's very playful. They're all, the, they're all very playful. Huxley just is very tired right now. I don't know why. I think he's just exhausted. Here you go, baby. And then we have, well, this is Waverly. I'm keeping her. And then this is Maxie. Maxie is very vocal. He's a boy. He's a tabby. He's very, very, very playful and very noisy. Like if I pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> he's very noisy, but he's very cute. They're all very cute. And their bellies are so full because they just ate. Here, Harlow, look at me. <laughs> Harlow, look at me. So as you can see, they're all pretty playful. Harper, go play. Oh, he's so tired. Huxley. Oh, he's just exhausted. He's usually like very, very, very playful. He was the most playful of all the white ones for a while. I think he's just, I think he played hard when he was out earlier. So I think he's just really tired. But as you can see, they're all playing. So today, Huxley's being more active. That's Harlow. And Harper Girl, she's really active today too. She's so cute. She doesn't meow too much. And he's so cute. Yeah. Hi guys, it's been about two weeks since I last vlogged. I was just taking a break, um, getting used to the cats and everything, but I still have them. Um, this video is still gonna be about the cats, obviously, but I'm gonna show them to you because now they look a little bit bigger. They're a bit older, but they're doing so good. Now they're awake. <laughs> I was letting them stay outside their pen, but. Hi, sweetie. She's a purrer, which I love. But yeah, so here they are. Matt's mom bought them this tower. I bought them this bigger pen. Um, I actually bought this for Winnie for the deck, but the pen that the shelter had given me was a little small because they were getting bigger and then also it was broken on the top and they were able to get out, which is not good. Is that one peeing? So this is their current setup. They have three litter boxes. They have their heat disc, which is that. Um, blankets, cat tower, 
but yeah, they're doing really good. And I named all of them. So this is, well, we call her gray girl half the time. Hey, baby girl. But I named her Waverly. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep her. I don't know for sure. Just because, like, I don't want to mess up the dynamic I have with Winnie. But I think he would be okay with it. I think he would like a friend. That's Maxie. He's super vocal. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. And then the three white ones are Huxley, Harlow, and Harper. Harper's the girl. Huxley has the black collar and Harlow is the other male. I named most of all of them from characters in my books that I've read. I think Waverly was a Lucy Score book. I know Harper was a Lucy Score book. Huxley was a Megan Quinn book. Harlow, I think I just pulled out of my ass to be honest with you. <laughs> and then Maxie is just named Maxie because Matt looked at him and said he looks like a Max. So. Then he became Maxi. He is a sweetie. They're all so sweet. They all have such blooming personalities. Um, and I'm really sad though, because I do have to bring them back to the shelter next week because I'm going to Mississippi to visit my grandma, which will be a whole vlog experience. You better not poop over there. They haven't had an accident. I don't want to jinx it, but they haven't had an accident in a few days. Um, they know to go in there to their litter box, but I just get nervous. But I have to bring them back and go to my grandma's, which I'm going to vlog that trip. But I feel bad because the shelter just like is running out of space. Um, I said I could take them back after I get back from Mississippi, but then I'm leaving again in four days to go to Newport. So, and then I said I could take them after Newport again if they still needed fosters. But I don't know, but they're doing really well. I think um, the poop is just a never ending experience. They were on medication for diarrhea last week, but they still kind of have diarrhea. They have like very loose puddles, not as bad as it was before, but I also just changed their food two days ago. So I'm hoping that's why their poop is weird. But yeah, so they're super playful. He's super fun. Hello, Mr. Maxi. He's so cute. They're getting bigger. They're like bigger than the size of my hand now. When I first got them, they were like smaller than my hand. So they're definitely growing. When he gets along with them pretty well, he only hits at them for like a day, but he tries to play too rough with them and like bite their neck, which is like not good. So he's never in here without me in here. Like they are never interacting without me present because they're usually locked away in there. So I think they're six weeks now. And then if I have them one more week, then they'll be like seven weeks, almost seven and a half weeks. They actually might be able to get fixed soon, which seems crazy because they're so small. But the shelter just has so many kittens to get through that they're just starting to fix them at. Once they reach two pounds of weight, once they get fixed and they're cleared, they're pretty much good to get adopted. So the shelter is just, they just have so many, so many kittens right now. They're just really trying to get through them. I think the shelter currently has over 200 kittens in foster right now. So it's certainly a lot, but I do this again, probably, I would probably do this again, but I don't think I could ever do, I don't, well, I could, but I don't think I ever want to do five at a time again. Five is just really, really a lot especially at the age that i got them they were four weeks when i picked them up and they were just so young and so small and so needy and so messy and oh gosh it was just a lot because they were syringe feeding when i first picked them up what are you doing over there she is so like she'll play with them but she likes to just be by herself but i think i'm gonna put them in their pen soon because I need to, I have some stuff to do and I need to make dinner soon, so. I did not work out today at all. I didn't even go on a walk. I've been sitting on our back deck because we have a couch now outside. And so like during the day, um, I've been sitting out on the deck during my lunch break. I really messed up my hair. I washed it last night, but now it's all flat because I had it in a bun forever, whatever. But anyway, I've been trying to tan. Oof. I'm getting there. That's all. Matt's at basketball right now. I'm just hanging out with the cats. Like it literally takes up so much of my time because they need time to like be interacted with and played with and I need to feed them and clean their litter box and it's a lot. Um it's definitely not something to like take lightly, but it's been good. 
I think I'm gonna put them back. I'm afraid they're gonna have to go poop soon. Hi everyone, it's days later. Oh, I have no sword. Oh, hi everyone. It's days later, weeks later. I don't even know when I last vlogged. I've really just been taking a break. The kittens are great. They're just like, they're constant work. And to be honest, like looking back, would I do this again? Yes, but I think now that I've experienced it and I understand, Taking on five kittens, especially starting at four weeks old, was a lot of work. And it's not to discourage, I'm not saying that to discourage anyone from ever doing it. Just as like a newbie, I like did not know what I was getting myself into. Um, I also realized I haven't vlogged like any of this experience, but I will say I am exhausted. I have not slept like a regular night's sleep in weeks because i feed them right before i go to bed so that they can make it through the night and then i wake up in the morning and then i have to feed them again like they get me out of bed in the morning there's one like there's been nights i fall asleep without feeding them by accident and then i wake up in the middle of the night in a panic at like 3 a.m and then i go feed them in the middle of the night it's just like i'm so tired like i've i think i've gone to bed at like 1 30 the last two nights i get up at like 6 30 for work i am so tired and i know People are gonna be like, oh, well, think about when you have a kid one day. Yeah, I know, but like, I just took in kittens at my house. I didn't think it was gonna be like this. But they're seven weeks now. They're a lot more fun now that they're older. They're not nearly as messy. They eat on their own. They don't step into their food bowl anymore. They have more solid poop now, which is good. They're not having diarrhea as much. The diarrhea was the worst because they step in it and then they track it everywhere it was such a mess they're so much better now i'm just gonna vlog today and tomorrow a little bit i am going on a trip on thursday to mississippi to visit my grandma that's gonna be a whole separate video i just really have not vlogged in like the past month to be honest it's just it's been it's been a lot um it's been a lot but i'm trying to get in touch with the shelter right now i've been trying to get in touch with them for the past week because i'm supposed to drop the cats off before i go on this trip they're not getting back to me and I do have a backup plan of like Matt's mom said she could watch them. I don't want to make her do that though. I would rather try to get the shelter to take them before that last resort option. I've sent them three emails. They have not emailed me back and I'm going to have to text them, which I probably should have done already. I just 
haven't. It's very weird. They got back to me really quick last time. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I will share um, my next when I go in there again to feed them. I will share I'll vlog that experience. They're really cute. They've been cute the whole time. They're just like, they're a bit bigger now. They're a bit older and they're not as messy. They groom themselves on their own. Um, it's, they're a lot easier now. Every day gets better and better for sure. So it's been good. This is what feeding time looks like. They're so excited. <laughs> I put the food down. I have water and they also have dry food in here. But I gotta clean everything up. So let them out. thirsty you want to eat here you girl I know <laughs> look how cute this one is hey Maxie <laughs> he's so cute I think Matt and I are going to keep this one, the gray one. She's so sweet. She's a bit shy, but yet playful. She's really cute. I mean, you don't lick her butt, please. I'm going to clean it later. And I've always wanted a gray cat. And I'm like, this is the perfect time. I don't know. I'm just like struggling with if Winnie would like it or not. Like, I don't know. He gets along with them, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't, it's hard to tell. Oh, girl. Say hi to the camera. Oh my god, her face. Covered in food. Winnie, stop. Okay. No, do not. Do not. Okay. He always goes in there and lays in their litter box. And it's like gross. And then these three are three peas in a pod. I think my, one of my relatives is getting, oh, I don't know which one's which right now. She's getting one of the white ones, but she's getting the female. And I can't tell from here which one is the female. I think it's this one. Whatever one is smaller is the one she's getting. I just gave the shelter her information today. And then I'm gonna try to keep her. I wanna keep both of them. I love them. But I don't think I want three cats. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is June 7th. So it's like, I think I vlogged a little bit yesterday, but like this vlog is real choppy. Kittens are great. They are doing so well. I had a little back and forth with the shelter yesterday. I don't know if I explained this yesterday, but I'm going away starting tomorrow. And I reached out to the shelter. I emailed them a week in advance. I emailed them again. I followed up a third time. And then yesterday I was like, what is going on? So I texted the number I have for them. Turned out my emails were all going to their junk folder. I know the shelter is like critically full right now. Like they don't have like any room. I had mentioned in one of my emails like, hey, like, you know, my boyfriend's going to be home while I'm away. His mom loves the cat. She's willing to watch them at some point. But we're not supposed to leave them with family members. So, like, I understand if I shouldn't do that. But I just want you to know, like, I know the shelter is full. So I do want to put that option out there. They're like, oh, no, like, that's totally fine. Like, we don't have, like, we're just, like, running out of space at the shelter. So I went through all this when I literally just could have been like, hey, I'm leaving. And I'm leaving them with my boyfriend's mom. She really does enjoy watching them. And then Matt's siblings are at the house and they'll have fun watching them. So, like, there's a bunch of people that can watch them and play with them. So it'll all be fine. So anyway, so I have to take them to Matt's parents tonight. But I do have to take them to the shelter at 3 o'clock to get their shots. And they are nearing one and a half pounds right now, which is good. They get fixed when they're at two pounds. I think they normally try to wait until they're a certain amount of weeks old. But there's just so many cats that as soon as they're reaching the two pound mark, if they're healthy, they just do the surgery and try to get them through so that they can get adopted as quickly as possible. So it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> 
it's an experience it's fun it's something i'll definitely do again in the future i just don't i think five was a lot of cats though so now that they're older it's easier but when they were younger when i first got them f five of them was just a lot but now like their poop is solid they're not really having diarrhea anymore which is really good the diarrhea was like the one thing that was just frustrating me to no end because they would have diarrhea it would get all over their fur it would get on their tails they would step in it and then they would drag it all around the pen so the pen was just constantly covered in poop and it was just driving me nuts on top of that like they're not using clumping litter right now because kittens will sometimes try to eat their litter so they use a non-clumping litter so because of that it's hard like you know the pee is like really hard to get out because as soon as you go to scoop it up it'll just crumble and you can't scoop up the pee so that's a whole thing but they're eating really well i have them eating dry food and wet food and drinking water so they're doing really well they're gonna be eight weeks at the end of this week they're currently seven weeks probably seven and a half weeks right now they'll be eight weeks next week or this weekend which is like crazy so i'll get them back when i come back from my trip i'll pick them up on tuesday when i get home but then i'll only have them for like four or five days and then that's gonna be it because then i'm going to newport yeah that's so weird it's just crazy how rapidly they grow at such a young age like, it's really crazy and i think i'm gonna keep the gray one i named her waverly i really like her i think she's really sweet anyway that's what's going on on top of that i did want to mention this is just super weird. This is unrelated to the cats or anything, but we are in like a crazy smoke haze today and yesterday. And I think the rest of this week we'll be in a smoke smoke haze. So it, there's fires in Canada, like in Nova Scotia, and I don't even know where else. And the smoke is just coming down into the United States. And it's insane. Like the weather is just so weird. It's so hazy. It smells bad outside. The air quality is really poor right now i think the air quality index a healthy air quality index is like 50 or below our air quality right now is like 270 which is like four or five times <laughs> the amount of where it should be to be healthy so it's super bad i did want to put that out there just so like looking back on this video like i can connect everything timeline wise but that's all i'm feeling a little stressed out when i take the cats i have to pack up everything in my car to take to matt's mom's i have to bring all the cat stuff i need to clean the litter boxes out and then and then after i drop them off at her house and then i'm gonna go pick up my brother he's at my grandma's house and then we'll come back to my house and i still have to pack for the trip and then our flight is at 8 50 in the morning tomorrow which means we have to leave at like five something at the latest to get to the airport because we live an hour from the airport so not terrible but you know you know just a lot okay. i just dropped off the cats i'm at the shelter waiting for them to get their shots they're just getting like their first rounds of vaccines yeah they're doing good i don't know if, i wonder if they're gonna weigh them while they're in there they might just to like write it down um but they're growing pretty well and then i love the people that work here they're so nice i like see the same lady like every time i come <sighs> it's so hard to like breathe and like i'm struggling it's not hard to breathe it's just hard to breathe like deeply i'm struggling to like breathe in all the way it's like super weird but after they're here i'm gonna take them straight to matt's parents because i have everything in the car for them to go so it'll all be fine yeah it's like it's I, i'm sorry i'm so distracted because it's so weird out right now i feel like it's like like apocalyptic 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 yeah that's the right word it's just strange like i don't know it's like let me show you I don't even know if you can like see the haziness but like it's like i feel like the smoke has like come down now and it like kind of clouds like how far you can see i feel like hi guys it's way later um this is a continuation of my fostering kitten vlog oh, damn it. please ignore the dehumidifier i tried to vlog when it was off but it just kicks on and off so frequently it's too difficult it is currently june 16th um i've had the cats for actually yeah i've had the cats for a month from two days ago would have been when I've had the cats for four weeks. I am taking them back to the shelter tomorrow. I'm so sad, but I'm going to Newport starting tomorrow for a week, like I do every year. They are weaned, they do really well. They function honestly on their own. I just have to replenish their food and their water. But I mean, like their setup is freaking awesome right now. I'll show you in a second. My only issue is I just, I came down here just now and one of the cats was outside of the 
gated pen I have set up and I don't know how she got out. So I'm a little concerned, but um, Miss Gray Girl. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Winnie, no, 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 Winnie's up. <gasps> Big girl, oh my gosh. I've never seen her do that. She is so cute. This is the one I'm keeping. Miss Gray Girl. Uh, her name is Waverly, but we keep calling her Miss Gray Girl because that's what we called her for the longest time. Come here, pretty. I'll put you back. I'll put you back. I just want you to show the camera how cute you are. It's not focusing. There it goes. Say hi. My name's Waverly. Hi. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll put you back. Oh. That's how she meows. She just like screams. Okay. Here. You can go back. Good girl. I can't believe she just got to the top. She's so cute. She's so freaking cute. Her eyes just turned from blue to green. Oh my gosh, she's chasing her tail. Of course she stopped right when I recorded. Uh, okay, let me show you the setup. So I need to refill their wet food, dry food, and their water before I go to bed. But this is what I do Like when I come down here now. Um, Winnie is only allowed down here when I'm down here. He's just a freaking nuisance half the time. This is Maxie. I really want to keep Maxie too, but like... Is three cats like too many? I don't know. Please let me know. This one here, this is Huxley. He's a cutie pie. He was worrisome for a while. He had, I thought he had something wrong with his eyes or maybe he had like an illness or an eye infection at one point because his eyes were really, really watery and his face was like constantly like dirty from eye discharge, but it cleared up. Like I never did anything for it. Um, the shelter didn't seem too concerned about it either. So I just, there's nothing I can do. So, but he's cleared up. He looks great now. I don't know what Winnie's eating. Hi. I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm missing a cat. Oh, wait, no, there's one there. The white ones I get, like, they all look the same. So, I think this one is Harper. Yeah, this is the girl. This is Miss Harper. My cousin is adopting her. I already, like, submitted her information. So, she's getting her. And then, wait, is that the boy or the girl? I don't know. Wait, let me see. Hi, cutie pie. No, this is not the girl. This is Hank. Just kidding, his name is not Hank. Okay, I was wrong. This is the boy. His name, I named him Harlow, but I've been calling him Hank the Tank because he's the biggest one in the whole litter right now. He's so big, well, compared to the others. He's like the fastest growing one. He's so cute. He has such a little belly, but he's so healthy. I mean, they've all been so, Winnie! They've all been like so healthy despite like besides the eye issue they've been like so healthy i couldn't have gotten luckier with these cats okay so anyway this is the boy they're all so sweet they're just like the cutest little thing like come on hi baby say harlow that's me that's you harlow <laughs> so cute miss waverly is sleeping up top shocking mr maxi hi cutie pie and then um they love the cat tower they honestly just like sleep this is where they sleep but we have waterproof blankets down here they've come in handy because this water bowl gets spilled every so often winnie is grooming harlow that's nice winnie this is their tent i bought this for winnie for the deck because he wants to be outside all the time but it actually worked out for the kittens right now but in there they just have some blankets they're litter boxes that I need to clean out before I go to bed. And then this is, these are doggy gates, but you can just connect as many as you want. They're honestly the best thing in the world. We use them all over the house. So I've just been keeping the cats out of the pen. They just like wander. They can kind of go wherever they want. They have access to food, water. They're honestly, they spend all their time on this tower, but I am concerned because when I came downstairs, she was not in the pen at all. And I don't know how she got out. And now I'm a little worried to leave them out of the pen all night. But I mean, if she gets out, like, what's the worst that happens? Like I'm going to check on them in the morning. So yeah, that is the situation. So it works out perfectly. Um, I'm bringing them back to the shelter tomorrow morning for 11 a.m. I'm going to be so sad dropping them off. But then I pick them back up next Sunday. So it's not, it'll be fine, but I am sad. I also feel stupid because I made a commitment to this and like i didn't honestly i didn't realize how long i was gonna have them for they were just so desperate for fosters in the beginning that i was like sign me up i'll do it but i don't think i realized that it was like 
pretty much like an eight week commitment. They'll probably stay with me until they're almost 12 weeks and they're only eight weeks now. So, which is fine. Once I get back from this trip, I'm not going anywhere, but I just, I don't think I really thought about like the long-term commitment of it all. I honestly thought I would just get rid of them, not get rid of them, but I thought I would have them returned and ready for adoption before I went to Mississippi, which is just obviously not the case. Oh my gosh, Winnie. Winnie, this is enough. Winnie is being a nuisance. I need to refill this stuff, clean their litter boxes, and I need to go to bed. That's all. Today is the day. It's the next day. I'm packing up the kittens to go to the shelter to have babysitting while I'm on vacation. Oh, my hair, hello. Um, I'm sad about it. But I know I'll get them back next week because I don't think they'll be ready for surgery. And even if they are ready, they like don't just like take them. They have to schedule them and everything. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get them. I have to leave in a few minutes. So I'm gonna pack them up, go to the bathroom, and go to the shelter. Oh yeah, I made breakfast. I did not, I did not get up at enough time this morning. I always do this. Like I literally have to have the cats here by 11. Like it's not even a hard time to get there for, but you know, so I'm gonna go pack them up. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing, girl? She is mischievous. Winnie, Winnie, you're not going. No. Winnie, get out. Thank you. Oh, come on, guys. Come here, baby. Oh, I know, I know. I'm so sad. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye, Huxley. Bye. Bye, Harlow. She bye. So I'll see you. I'll see you next week. No, Winnie. Winnie, get down. Winnie, off. Bye, Harper. Oh my God, their hearts are pounding. Oh bye, Maxie Moo. She bye. <laughs> you gotta get down. Alright, Waverly girl. Oh, hi, baby. Honey, don't scream. Don't scream at me. Say bye. So you'll see you next Sunday. Say bye. Say bye to your brother. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm sorry. We're gonna go in the car. Don't get down. One, two, three, four, five. One. I'm so sad. All right. Oh, this is so heavy now. You guys are so big. I'm here with the kittens. I'm so sad. I don't know why I'm gonna cry right now. Like, I'm gonna get them back next week. They'll be fine. But I just like get scared for them because they're gonna be like, they're gonna be sad. They're like getting taken out of their regular environment into a different environment. They'll be fine. They're animals. They're resilient. But I just get really sad. Also, my hair looks so blonde right now. What the heck? Sweeties, I'm gonna miss you guys. You're so cute. Bye. I'll see you guys in a week. I'll see you in a week. <laughs> why am I crying? Oh my gosh. I don't. Why am I the most emotional person that I know? Ugh. I'm so upset. <laughs> They're literally gonna be fine. Why am I so sad? Ugh. But I'm coming back next Sunday. Why am I so upset over this? Why am I so upset? I think I'm just upset because, like, they don't, they're so comfy in my home and now they're going somewhere else and they're probably gonna be scared. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot take myself seriously. <sighs> All right, now I have to go home and I have to pack and get ready. Let's go on vacation and then I have to leave my other cat at home and he's gonna be sad too. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm home now. I'm better, kind of. But I did want to do like a little debrief on this whole experience because I'm gonna end this vlog here. Like when I'm done with this clip, this vlog will be over, but I am gonna like start a new vlog, obviously when I pick up the cats. Next week, I'm gonna vlog Newport this week. And then I think I'll just start resuming vlogging like normal again, but I did want this vlog to be specifically just about fostering cats because like in case anyone's looking up fostering cats. I just wanted this to be like a very like strictly cat oriented video. Okay, so this experience was so much fun. I truly am so glad I did it, but 
it was definitely very mentally challenging in the beginning and it's been very emotionally challenging too as you guys saw today i think i just feel so deeply for other people and like other especially animals all the time i just i don't know i just feel their emotions like myself just thinking about like them having to go from home to home first of all like they don't even have their mom being found i don't know where they were found but they were definitely found just outside somewhere brought to the animal rescue league to be nursed into health and taken care of and like i was that mom for them and it's just like so sad to think about like them not having their mother but they don't know any different people ask me how i got stuck how i got stuck with these kittens very often like in my personal life and i signed up for it like i i got my cat from the animal rescue league so i live in berks county pennsylvania it's the berks animal rescue league i got my cat from there i live like 10 minutes down the road from them they're very close by i got my cat there winnie um, I got him five months ago and I've just constantly been like wanting to get a second cat but I wasn't sure if he was going to be like fully okay with another cat and I was like you know what like how about I foster a cat and see how he does with another cat in the house and then I then stumbled upon the fact that it's kitten season kitten season runs from like April until I think early fall like pretty much like the whole spring and summertime of the year is kitten season it's just when cats are having babies and a lot of kittens appear in the shelter what was my hair doing so i really wanted to get involved somehow with the shelter because if you guys watched my videos from a few years ago i did used to volunteer at a kitty shelter down in norristown pennsylvania it was an open cage shelter it was, it was so sweet so cute but the shelter here is a little bit more I don't want to say industrial but it is very much more like you know people are actually employed to work at this shelter and volunteering i don't know i just i didn't really feel as called to go in on weekends volunteer i felt more called to foster animals in my own home and give them a really pleasant experience so that's what i just i just felt like i felt called to do that i don't know something in my soul was just like this is something that would be good for you this is a way you can give back to the community give back to animals in need i don't have a lot of money i can't like just donate a bunch of money to the shelter but i could donate my time i could donate my home i don't know i just felt like this was something that was meant for me to do so they were sending out a lot of emails like you know we need foster parents whatever so i applied to be a foster and i was like you know what like even if i get accepted into the foster program I'm still not tied to having to do it. You know what I mean? So I was like, let me just apply for it and even see if I get approved. Obviously I was gonna get approved. I don't know. They probably accept most people who apply. Like if you're applying, you have the heart to do it. So I got approved and what they do is they send out emails usually about once a week of a list it's like a bullet point list of like cats that have recently come in that need homes and i was so on the fence about doing it because i was like you know what like if i have a bunch of kittens in my home i can't leave for the whole day i can't go on a weekend vacation like i can't like i have to tend to these cats so a lot of things were telling me like it wasn't the right time it wasn't the right time because we had a lot of stuff going on over the weekends back in like early may like i can't really foster cats right now but at least i was on the list and getting the emails and i was like you know what after mother's day rolls around i'll do it because mother's day we weren't home all day and i was like you know like i can't do it yet i can't do it yet but finally an email came in the day after mother's day i emailed them back and i was like you know what this is my first time fostering like whichever litter you think would be best for a first time foster i'll take and they were like oh can you take the litter of five and i was like sure i didn't really fully know what i was getting into necessarily i don't think i realized how much work they are at such a young age i just didn't understand like the true development of a kitten yet and fostering has really taught me that these cats were relying on me like i was their mother cat to clean them to feed them by hand to provide them warmth to snuggle them to hold them like i was to wipe their faces and groom them like i was their main source of everything and i got them at four weeks and these things were tiny they were a half pound so small they were like the size of my my hand right here they were very very tiny and they were messy i don't think i understood how messy they were gonna be especially having five they had accidents outside the litter box all the time they would eat food and their faces would be a mess they would go to the bathroom their butts would be covered in poop because they don't they just weren't clean about it and also when they're younger they have a lot more diarrhea and you have i had to 
feed them by hand with a syringe. Luckily, three of them weaned really fast. Like they honestly were weaned by like the, like two days later. But the two other ones, it took them a little bit longer to wean. So I was syringe feeding. I was doing like a dual, like like trying to get them to eat out of the bowl, and then also like syringe feeding them like in the supplements to make sure they were getting enough food because they can get a little bit tired if they're trying to eat by themselves a lot. I think I was syringe feeding the one of them for a week. And let me tell you, time was going by so slowly. I was like, okay, just let a few weeks go by. It'll get easier, it'll get easier. And I just felt like time was just inching along. They needed so much attention. I had to feed, they needed to be fed like every five to six hours. I had to get up in the middle of the night and feed them. I had to get up early in the morning and feed them. I had to stay up late at night and feed them. I was constantly changing the towels in their little um, tent because they were having so many accidents. They would pee on there. It was just constant, constant cleanup. They relied on me for food. I didn't leave food in there with them because uh, I just didn't want them to make a mess with the wet food. And they, when they saw me come in the room with food, it was like go time. They were rushing to the door to get out and they would eat until that bowl was pretty much empty. That was definitely like tough, but like every day did get better. There was moments in, during the first week where I was like about to email the shelter and be like, I cannot do this. Like, can I return them? Obviously I didn't do that. I had too much willpower, too much of an ego to do that, but I kept them. Matt's mom did come over and watch them for like a day and a half. Yeah, pretty much like a day and a half um, from Memorial Day weekend, Matt and I went away. Literally like the second weekend I had the cats. I was like, oh shoot She came over watched them and it was still tricky at that point. It was still was a little bit of a hassle cleaning up after them But honestly the seven to eight week mark of age for them was such a turning point I have them on dry food now. I leave water out for them I honestly don't even keep them in their pen anymore. Well their tent. I keep them in like a gated area I have a bunch of dog gates that I've set up in a circle in the basement you guys saw that. They just stay in there. I leave their food out. I refill their dry food when it's empty. I give them a can of wet food. Only a few of them really eat the wet food, but I just make sure the bowl is constantly full of food and they just eat it whenever they want. So they definitely are weaned. They're healthy. They're doing so good. Their faces look so cute and they're maturing and they are adorable and they're getting bigger and they're more playful and they love to climb and they are just so much fun. But yeah, if I were to do this again, I would probably not do five cats at four weeks old again I'm, I'm not saying that to scare anyone off if you feel called to do that like totally do it but for me it was definitely tricky and they were healthy like i can't imagine having sick kittens or ones that needed treatments for their eyes or if they had a respiratory infection like i can't imagine them being sick i mean i had five healthy ones and i was like this is a lot for me it was definitely doable i did it and they're great, but at the, in the moment I was like, this is so much for me. I would definitely foster again. I'd probably look for a little bit older of kittens just because I really am having so much fun with that seven to eight week age. But I mean, obviously I would, I'm not gonna like limit myself to only that, but if I were to do it again right now, I would pick older kittens and I would probably not exceed any more than, well, now that they're older, having five isn't that bad. But um, if they were younger, I'd probably max out at like three just because of how messy they get. You have to give them butt baths. You have to soak their butts in the sink to get the poop off. And it's, it's gross. And I have touched so much more cat poop in the past month than I ever thought I ever would. I'm getting them back next Sunday. I literally cried halfway home because I was so sad for them to have to go to a new home because they're, they're having so much fun in my house. It's okay. I'm much better now. I'm over it. They'll be happy. It's good for them to be at the shelter. They'll get their weights recorded. They'll have their shots probably while they're there. And um, they'll just have like wellness checkups to make sure they're doing well, even though I know they're doing well. Yeah, that's about it. I am keeping the gray one. I'm pretty 100% set on that. I, I've been wanting a second cat for, I mean, literally as soon as I got my first cat, I was like, I want another one because they will just keep each other company in the home. So this was kind of like a trial to see how he would do with other cats. I mean, he does really well with the dogs when the dogs are here, but he did pretty well. The gray one honestly is just so sweet and she is so quiet and gentle. And I think it would be a good balance with Winnie and her. I think that would be a good, a good duo. But it's just, it's, you know, you get so attached to them. It's so hard to say goodbye. I'm really sad for when I do have to say goodbye for real. But at that point, they will go into the shelter and hopefully get adopted within a couple days. And they'll be with their new family and they'll just have such a great time. And this time in their life will be such a small blip 
um, but I'm doing as much as I can to get them prepared for that. I mean, they're used to having Winnie around. When I have them next week, I'm gonna have the dogs here as well and I'll try to introduce them to the dogs and get them a little bit accustomed to having dogs. I've been like kissing their faces, touching their paws, just really manhandling them a lot is a very big positive thing because they are learning these feelings and touching their paws a lot gets them you know, comfortable so that they can get their nails clipped and touching their faces and kissing them all over their bodies is a good thing because if they go to a home with little kids, they will be used to those feelings and they won't be aggressive. So they're in such a big development stage right now and I'm just trying my best to give them such a good experience. But that's all, I think this video is pretty long. I really didn't vlog a lot when I had them because like I said, I was really overwhelmed in the beginning. The last thing I was thinking about was grabbing my camera when I had a room full of screaming kittens and I had food in my hands like, my camera was the last thing on my mind. I did try to get a lot of footage towards the end recently. So anyway, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in fostering kittens, I say totally go for it. It is such a fun experience. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and subscribe for more videos. I'll have more kitten videos on the way when I get them back. And then when I have my gray kitten in my house after I adopt her, she'll be in my videos too. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.